here's what we did. Um, we did it a little differently. We did 90 seconds from possession, and we were great with it. Um, I think when we start getting into 60 seconds, I think that's a bit short. Um, so if they want to give you 30, and then another 60 when you you know when you start playing offense and step it in the box. I might feel comfortable with that. I actually just like the 90 straight. It takes the timing out of the whole thing. Um, you know, they're, they're, our, our officials are our, our, our clock keepers, and my understanding is this fall that a lot of people have uh, uh, experience, experimented with it. And the clock keepers that were handling, you know, 30 seconds to clear, 60 seconds when you get it in the box, and then, you know, you know reset 60 seconds if you got to save or hit a pipe. That was kind of challenging for the clock operator. So for me, quick 90 seconds, you know, on, on possession, clear it, you know, however you want, and whatever's left over, you have to play offense. Certainly, you'll be riding back into the game. It'll, you know, and it'll, it'll force you to want to clear the ball a little bit more quickly, substitute more quickly, and then if you hit a pipe or you know, goalie makes the save and you get it back off a loose ball, or you ride it back, you know, get another 90 seconds. Um, you know, I don't think that's unreasonable. We don't have the best players in the world like the MLL does. We've got good players, and we've got coaches that want to coach, so I think 90 seconds is a reasonable amount of time.